Hey guys, today is another one of our couples chat and today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, sports. Yeah, of course. I know how much you love sports. <laughs> For the record, I used to play sports. It's just, I'm over it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's so, going on in the sports world these days? So recently, then this is something that will interest you because it's not really sports related. It's just... Yeah, um, I like gossip. Yeah, it's gossip, gossip you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Okay, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> So uh, the Atlanta Hawks general manager had an event with season ticket holders who were upset about the direction of the team or basically how the team has been playing and it was getting a little heated and uh, he tried to, I guess, break the ice and made an offensive uh, joke towards a black woman saying that he, uh, he knows what it's like to be yelled at because he has a black wife and three mixed children at home that yell at him all the time, which uh, obviously did not play too well to the crowd and uh, offended mostly everybody there. Uh, mostly? Yeah. It offended me. I mean, the truth be told, like, I don't play. They know that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I would resent that kind of comment because it's not true. It makes it seem like we are not in control and we fly off the handle. Not the case. So what were your thoughts it's when you heard that, seriously? It's a terrible comment. Like, I don't know what would make somebody say that. It just doesn't make sense. Why are you looking at me crazy <laughs> like that? What, what's wrong? <laughs> like, I'm going around saying that. I, it's like, it's, now he's a spokesperson for all people, yeah, right? <laughs> the, that are in interracial marriages. But yeah, I just don't, I don't understand what yeah. would make him think that was a good joke to make in any way. I mean, if you say, if he just said... Hey guy, I, I got a wife and kids at home that yell at me all the time. That's it. Totally, there's no, Different. there's no controversy at all. It's just a corny joke he's trying <laughs> to get off and trying he... to calm things. But when you say something like that, especially in Atlanta, which I'm guessing they didn't, I don't know what the demographics were, but um, you know, the, Atlanta has a you know, predominantly. Predom I don't know if it's predominantly, but a larger black population yeah, than yeah. certain. Um, NBA city. I guess it depends. It's just like New York. It depends on maybe what town, what area. Maybe there's predominantly white areas, predominantly black areas. But the fact that he said it, period, and he yeah. added color to it. Yeah. Like you said, if he kept it general, then it would have been a different story. Yeah. Nobody would even be talking about it. it would have no. never came out. Uh, well, if you put any, if you put a, a, a race in front of somebody, like whatever you're talking about, if you put the word black in front of this black person or this white person, it just makes it sound, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I gotta say, say though, I mean, I'm gonna play devil's advocate a little bit and keep it in real 100 for a second. But there are times when it's like, you know what? There are stereotypical comments that are made. You know, I know in our household, we, you know, we'll, we may generalize a certain group of people, not in an offensive way, but in like a joking kind of sort of way. You know, there's always us being late. <laughs> there's always that connotation yeah. that there is like CP time or whatever. And I mean, it's not true, but you know, sometimes we, you know, poke fun and whatnot. We have a good laugh about it and it's no big deal. You know, there's certain things. What What is another thing? There's certain... Because you, you'll say like, y'all are always late. <laughs> Just yesterday, we had family coming over and they were like, we'll be there at 2.30. <laughs> And it was about three something before they got here, so yeah. <laughs> because his family, you know, they're very punctual. Very punctual. Whatever dinner is at say. six. It is yeah. not a minute later. It's not a minute before. Dinner is at six. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so we do stuff like that, but I don't think that's offensive. Like I think that's you no, know, that's it's, cool. It's totally different. But when you're in a, a group setting like that, that's a different. A different story I could break down the stereotypes it's not even funny yeah. but um, you know something like that is offensive another thing that I got to say though is that a lot of the times I find that when um, either race they're with the opposite race they they think it's okay to make these comments because they get a pass. Yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's what it was. <laughs> and I, I think, think that's, that's what, what it was with this I think, guy. I think He's he like, thought no. he got a pass, but let me even tell you that is there is no pass. You don't get a pass. That's not true. Because yeah. if you, you had something pass. like that, it yeah. would have been problems. And it should be. 
Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So, but it, that is, I think that's it. I think the past is, I think, yeah. I think they, like, uh, a lot of people, a lot of white people that are in interracial relationships, they, they're like, oh, this gives me my, gives me my past. It's kind of like if yeah. you ever saw the Seinfeld episode. When, We're sneaking that in word. It's when, all right. It's when, all right. Uh, <laughs> There was a Seinfeld episode when um, there was a co fellow comedian of Jerry's that converted to Judaism, yeah. and then he started making all these Jewish jokes. And he and Jerry was like, "Wait, I think he converted just for the jokes." Yeah, like, it's like he, because so, he now he gets the pass, so he can make these jokes about Jewish people because hey, I'm Jewish. But that's not okay. Yeah, not cool. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, you know, one or two jokes here or there. We have like our stereotypical, like when we were getting married. I jokingly said, you know, maybe I should put <laughs> my family an hour <laughs> here <laughs> because they showed up late. And sure enough, all your people showed up on time. Yep. There are some people in my family missed the whole ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It was practically like, empty for the ceremony. Yes. The party, everybody's there. And then people came up to me jokingly and said, oh man, you should do the whole thing over. I missed it. And I, I thought yeah. they were just joking. And it turns out, they were serious. They were serious. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but the moral of the story is it's not okay to make offensive remarks. Like me, I'm not a fan of the N-word, never used it, never cared for it. I it, it angers me when I hear people use it, both my race, your race, other people, it doesn't matter. And some people think that because they have quote unquote black friends, that it's okay to slip it in there. It's not. And then with the comment like that guy, I mean, especially you're in a professional setting. Is he out there with his underwear on? We have to cut that. Yeah. Okay. So, but, <laughs> but the, the reality is, is that, um, you know, I don't care what the situation is. You're in a group setting, you're in a professional setting. That kind of thing is not okay. And how did he rebound from that? I don't know. It, it, the story didn't get a it lot didn't. of um, publicity. It really it wasn't talked yeah. about a lot. There wasn't. They, you know what's interesting? And I don't know. If this is just the, the culture down there. But there's been a few incidents with that franchise where a couple of years ago, the pri I think it was the prior GM made a comment about a, a player mm -hmm. that was very very offensive. This one might have been even worse. He said that he has a little African in him. He was. He he said. He's the kind of guy that will own a nice looking storefront and be selling counterfeit goods behind the back. So you're he, trying to say he ghetto? He's so rich? Yeah, I don't know what it, he was saying that he's a, he's a good guy, but there's a little bit of shadiness to him. Oh. Yeah, so and the comment was he he's got a little African in him. Ooh. And after that I think I think he wound up resigning or getting fired after that. But okay. and that was the same team, so I don't know if they just have you know, that's just there's, there's a culture issue there or something I don't know so what are your thoughts on this I mean do you find that you get a pass to say certain things because maybe you are in an interracial relationship or you got black friends that's another one I got black friends I ain't racist yeah. no child mm -mm. no not okay um, so what's what do you think I mean let us know in the comments below love to know your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys Bye. How come you never like wave? I, Bye. I'm not waving. That's that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Guys always be like. All right, peace. <laughs>